Welcome to What's New in Sage BusinessWorks version 2020. The version 2020 of Sage BusinessWorks focused primarily on the changes that were made to the W-4 for the tax year 2020. In addition to these changes, the tax table updates for the tax year 2020 will also be included along with a link to make it easy for you to access our Sage live chat when you are in need of assistance. The new features you can expect in Sage BusinessWorks 2020 will include the changes in maintain employee status to accommodate the new 2020 Form W-4. Tax table updates for federal and several states. You'll want to make sure you check the release notes for the states with tax table updates. And new chat links have been added to the interface. We'll do a brief discussion of the 2020 Form W-4 a look at the new Form W-4 for 2020 and a peek at the new Sage BusinessWorks version 2020. What changed on the 2020 Form W-4? In the past, the value of a withholding allowance was tied to the amount of a personal exemption. Due to changes in the law, you can no longer claim personal exemptions or dependency exemptions. Therefore, beginning January 1, 2020, allowances are no longer used in the newly redesigned Form W-4. Here's a look at the new 2020 Form W-4. In Step 3, employees will claim the dependents by multiplying the number of qualifying children under the age of 17 by $2,000 and then multiplying any other dependents by $500. Step 4 is optional and would be used to calculate other income that you may be receiving other than on your job, any deductions that you may be claiming that could affect your income tax liability, as well as any extra withholding desired. So who is required to fill out the new Form W-4? All new employees that are first paid after the year 2019 must use the new form. Also, any existing employees who wish to adjust their withholding must also use this redesigned 2020 Form W-4. So what changes were made in Sage BusinessWorks version 2020 for the Form W-4? Looking at the screen on the left is the current version 2019. You will notice that there is an allowance field that allows you to enter the number of allowances or dependents that the employee selected on their current W-4. In version 2020, we continue to have the allowances for those existing employees that are not making any changes to their withholding status for the year 2020. We also have added the boxes 3, 4A, 4B, and 4C from the newly redesigned 2020 Form W-4. It's time now to take a look at the new Sage BusinessWorks version 2020. We'll first take a look at the maintain employees to review the changes that were made to accommodate for the new W-4. We're going to go to Payroll Employees, Maintain Employees. For existing employees, after you update and your data goes through the update process, all existing employees, when you go to the status, will be set to allowances. Nothing will change unless this employee makes a change to anything about their withholding status. If there was a life change because they got married or had children or they just want to have more or less withholding, they would need to fill out the new W-4. At that time, you would check the box to use the W-4 for 2020 or later. You'll enter the dollar amounts for Step 3, 4A, 4B, and 4C. For a new employee, when you go to the status, it will automatically default to use the W-4 for 2020 or later. The new chat link has been added to the module menu, making it easy for you to contact us for support. Simply click on the link and it will bring you to the Sage BusinessWorks 
live text support chat. This gives you three places where you can now contact us via live chat. From our newly added link on the modules menu, from the system manager menu under chat, Sage live chat, and through the welcome screen we have a link to Sage live chat. Some important tips before you install the Sage BusinessWorks version 2020. Tax table updates will be available for Sage BusinessWorks version 2020 only. No tax table updates will be available for version 2019 or earlier due to the major changes to the W-4. Do not install version 2020 until you have completed processing your year-end tax forms, such as your W-2s and 1099s. An update to your companies will be performed after the upgrade has completed to accommodate for the W-4 changes. Are you in need of help? Make sure you subscribe to the Sage BusinessWorks community on Sage City at sagecity.com to get notifications when updates are available to the program and to interact with other customers that use the Sage BusinessWorks product. Search our knowledge base at the sagekb.com. Our knowledge base is available to customers 24-7, 365 days a year. Make sure you contact us via Sage Live Chat Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can always open a portal ticket from the Sage Customer Portal at sagekb.com. And check out the Sage BusinessWorks Anytime Learning classes on our Sage University at sageu.com. This concludes our presentation on Sage BusinessWorks version 2020. Thank you for joining us.